in Catholic school, Sister Mary Mustache told us all about heaven. She said only good Catholics who go to mass go to heaven. No one in my family went to mass. So it was clear to me that no one I loved, no one was going to heaven. It was Grand of all the people who restored my faith in heaven. Every year, she'd sit at the head of Tata's table and stare at all the candles on her birthday cake. She'd scowl. L'année prochaine, je ne serai pas ici. Next year, I won't be here. <laughs> Where's she going? <laughs> She'd stretch her spiny fingers skyward, give that eerie half smile of hers, and I knew, I knew if someone as honorary as ma grand-mère said she's going to heaven. Well, after she passed, Grandma came to me in a dream. She did. She wanted me to know she got in into heaven. She had to, because she knew that Grandpa was there in heaven waiting for her. Oh, and she told me he showed her all the sights and introduced her to all the best folks up there. Oh, she jabbered on and on and on, and then, of course, all her words were in French, and I couldn't catch everything she said. But I think it went something like this. It's very simple, no angel choirs, but we have stereo and merry open fires. Caruso sings there, Salome swings there, in my home sweet heaven. Our house is modest, it's by Bernini, and I've a feeling that the ceiling's by Cellini. Oh, Tetrazzini, Bellows Puccini, in my home sweet heaven. We all sit round King Arthur's table, Freud and Cain and Abel, Barnum and Bailey, Oscar Wilde and me. And it's such fun when Julius Caesar, Proust and Saint Teresa drop in for a spot of tea. Tis Rayleigh's darling, and Homer's hearty. Dear Joan of Arcs, the type who sparks the dullest party. We crack a bottle with Aristotle in my home sweet heaven. The King of Prussia, I call him Freddy, is living by mistake with Mary Baker Eddy. And Amy Semple has built a temple in my home sweet heaven. There's Dr. Crippen, he's very chummy, with Lizzie Bourne and his daddy and his mommy. They split a kipper with Jack the Ripper in my home sweet heaven. After I've lunched with Keats and Shelley, posed for Botticelli, Martin Luther asked me out to dine. And it'll really bowl you over watching Casanova try to flirt with Gertrude Stein. She's a gas, she's a gas, she's a gas, she's a gas. Delilah's dreary, but Samson's handsome. And with his good looks, Robin Hood looks fit for ransom. Jane Austen giggles. Houdini wriggles then his seventh heaven, not eleventh heaven. I take the love and laughter rippling on the tippling. And Emily Bronte doing the twist with Kipling. I'm a homesick for my home, sweet heaven. It's a gas, it's a gas, it's a gas, it's a gas. So happy in my home, sweet heaven.